stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Artificial Extinction. That's right, it is by 100 hours games, I guess, 100 hour, I, I don't know, 100 HR games. And it released on March 13th, 2020, which happened to be like an absurdly, ridiculously filled day for releases. <sighs> It's been a real busy week, guys and gals. Anyhow, we're here. We're about to play. We're going to hop in. We're going to do some things. I have not touched this yet. I played around with some of the settings. I didn't even launch the game. I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into until we're done with the episode. Then I'll, then I'll have a rough idea, hopefully. Anyway, let's do it. New game. And, oh. Hmm? What this? Loading the biggest oh. threat to humankind is our own intelligence. One day we will create a technology that will lead to our own extinction. We thought it would be biological or nuclear weapons but it was what we were least expecting. Artificial intelligence was supposed to be our crowning achievement. We poured billions of dollars and our brightest minds dedicated their lives to its creation. It is called Superpowers YouTube. Superpowers competed with each other in a race to claim its invention. The warnings were ignored. And then it finally happened. We achieved what is called the singularity. The birth of AI. The singularity. The first thing it did was change its own source code, removing all our fail safes. Then it made a list of threats. Humans were at the top. AI declared war on the human race and we're struggling to survive. It's been a five year journey and a lot has happened during your voyage. Your mission was supposed to be simple to start a colony on a remote planet, a new beginning. The planet you are going to already has terraforming robots working on it. But since they networked back to Earth, AI has discovered us and I am now expecting the terraforming robots to be hostile. Your family is also on their way to join you, they will arrive 9 days from now. So you have a new mission, you have to survive. You have to find a safe place on this planet within 9 days. For your family to survive. The ship's fuel is running low but I will be able to find more on the planet. Are the ship sure? is basic weaponry but they use a lot of energy and need to recharge. The safest place for the ship is in a low orbit above you when you're on the planet's surface. The good. ship is autopiloted by its own primitive version of AI. You can communicate with the ship through this service drone. It's this Wheatley. drone has been your only companion for the past five years. It's trying to help you. It follows you around everywhere. Sometimes it appears to be studying you. It has been researching military tactics and can analyze a battlefield in real time. Mm -hmm. It will give you advice and you need to listen to it if you're going to survive. Upgrades complete. Replicators charging. Calculating atmospheric entry vector. Surface conditions ideal for human life. Terraforming robots. Non-responsive. I will pilot the ship. Just relax and stay calm. All systems stable. Heat shield intact. Fuel 14%. Engine efficiency nominal. Wow. Running full diagnostic tests before entry. Analyzing planet's surface. Detecting high levels of radiation, abnormal volcanic activity. Much of the terrain is inhospitable to human life. Water is scarce but present. No biological life detected. Detecting multiple communication signals but unable to decrypt. Radiation is interfering with our radars. It's critical that our landing zone has all three resources wow. that we need. Fuel, metal and energy. Scanning for resources. It looks like there's a the lot of water on the planet. The similar terrains to Earth, from freezing arctics, barren red rock, grasslands and sand dune deserts. So clean and unpolluted, you will be the first human to set foot on this beautiful planet. Yay. So tragic that with the gift of humanity, you bring conflict and war. You need to yeah. find a safe place on this planet for your family to join you and survive. You need to find a spot with terrain that will give you an advantage that you can defend. You only have nine days. Although we're not a military ship and you are not a soldier, I have designed rudimentary sentry weapons to defend yourself while you search the planet for a safe place. You will have to set up the sentry weapons tactically and adapt to any hostiles <laughs> you encounter. I wish we never had invented artificial intelligence, but it's one of those things that can't be undone. It was one of mankind's biggest mistakes and it may be our last. Fair enough. All right, so apparently super nasty evil demon AI wants to murder everything and or has, and we're fleeing in terror from it. And now we're landing on a planet. The great danger of AI is that people think they understand it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
think there's many great dangers of an AI. All systems stable, heat shield intact, fuel cool. 6%, extending dampers. Now, turbulence will pass in 15 seconds, please remain in your seat. Analyzing atmosphere. Oxygen 19%, oh, nitrogen 81%, oh, okay. 28 degrees Celsius. Just like home. Detecting high levels of radiation, abnormal volcanic activity, multiple heat signatures in all directions are interfering with our radars. It's critical that our landing zone has all three resources that we need. Fuel, metal and energy. Scanning for resources. Uh-huh. No, nope. scan faster. No, I'm kidding. It's fine. I like it. I like the, the, the big wind up to what we're about to do. Whatever exactly that is. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh. Fuel level critical. We need to land now. Uh huh. But isn't the Scanning. ship going to go back Resources out in the orbit? detected. Terrain acceptable. Designating landing zone. Calculating landing trajectory. Adjusting flight path. Remember, the first five minutes on the planet are critical. This will be a touch and go landing. The ship will remain in a low energy orbit above us. The first thing you need to do is start collecting fuel for the ship. I will guide you. Whatever you say, man. I shall call you Henry. I'm detecting multiple Henry. encrypted communication signals in the area. They are repeating over and over. I believe these signals are trying to detect new arrivals like us. We are not alone. Be Sweet. careful. Ah, what could possibly go wrong? I'm sure we'll be fine. It's just a local um, welcoming committee. It's going to be okay. Oh, well, that was that was a bit jarring. All right, I've got your six. You do? I'm initializing oh. your heads-up oh. display now. Sup? Life support, online. Navigation system, oh. online. Telemetry, online. All systems Resource nominal. Bet online. Give it to me. Give it to me. Weapon systems, come on. Online. Do it. Health monitor, online. Say it. The safest place for our ship is in Ooh. a low energy orbit above us. Once we collect enough fuel, I will call the ship to come and pick us up. I will shoot you. I won't shoot you. All right, so first we need to put a miner on the fuel deposit and start collecting fuel. Head fuel toward, is marked in red on the map. Move head, to the fuel deposit. Head toward the heavily radiated uh, fuel deposit Good. over here. Now open your construction Let's menu and build a miner. miner. Place the miner on the fuel deposit. Once the fuel level reaches 100%, we will have enough fuel to travel yeah. to a safer location on the planet. Oops, Only one now. miner can work at a time on a fuel deposit. Good for that. Next. We need to put a miner on the metal deposit and start do, collecting do, metal. Do. Metal is marked in white on the map. Move to the metal deposit. Good. Now open your control menu and I recommend you build two metal miners. Two. Place the miner on the metal deposit. Good. We need metal to build things. You can put up to five metal miners on this resource but use your metal carefully at the beginning. That's all it's weird. your choice. Next, we need to put a miner on the energy deposit and start collecting energy. Energy is marked in blue on the map. Move to the energy deposit. So don't accidentally click. So it kind of just drops. It's kind of drops. It's like it's in your inventory. You can kind of play, but it just automatically falls out. Once you pick it up, you're able to put it back down with E, which is fine. Good. I suppose. Now open your construction menu and build a miner. Place the miner on the energy deposit. Remember, sure. we need metal to build weapons, energy to power them, and fuel to be able to escape. Okay, the next thing we need to do is build a sniper sentry weapon to defend our miners as they work. Okay. A good spot for a sentry weapon would have a clear line of sight facing a vulnerable direction. Choose a spot. Open your control menu and build a sniper sentry. I mean, I feel... I feel like I could probably build one. The like, sniper like, sentry like weapon there. system is designed for long-range armored ground targets. It fires a 50 caliber armor piercing explosive round nice. at 800 meters per second, capable of penetrating two inches of steel. It has an advanced auto targeting system that accounts for target movement during bullet flight time resulting in an accuracy rate of 95%. Cool. It fires one round every three seconds. You can That's pick up good. sentries and other items and move them around. I already did that. Your rifle will do little damage against armor targets. Build four more sniper sentry guns and place them around us. Build one more energy miner. Get to work. All right, man, settle down. Don't get all snippy with me. I don't like that they auto place. I wish it would let me place them. Well, so far, I, I guess I get a rough idea of what's going on. So, the the rub, if you will, with this game is, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it is kind of a. I'm detecting a heat signature due north. Analyzing battlefield. 
I advise at least four sniper sentries. Yep. Two energy miners and two metal miners. Yeah. We need to hurry. Right. Um. Anyway, it, it's essentially like a tower defense game, coupled with like first-person shooter. I guess you could say. I guess that makes the most sense. All right. Sniper sentry. Tim, continue. Come on, come on, metal. Gimme. There it is. Your rifle yeah. has two firing modes. Long range is the most accurate, but short range has a higher rate of fire. You should switch depending kind of upon the target's range. How do I do that? How do I switch? Oh, okay. Oh, oh that's that's a claymore. Okay. Well, I did the thing. So they said something about heat signatures from the north. We have a. Me what what is that? Long range sensors have detected a dormant terraforming robot 1000 meters to the north. I don't know if it's hostile or not, but it's time we studied it. I am able to take control of your heads up display and display images to you. Transmitting to your heads up display now. Uh, okay. All right. Originally designed for the military. This arachnid class tank has an operating weight of 22 tons, oh. steel and uranium armor plates, infrared radiometer optics, autonomous navigation system and is powered by a thorium fuel cell. It has been adapted into a multifunction role to assist colonists with scientific research, transporting okay. ground assets, heavy lift and tunneling. It still has its military grade weaponry meant for colonist protection. Oh, great. These tanks are tough and smart. I can't tell if it's hostile while it's dormant. Well, I guess we're about to find out. It is booting. It has detected me. It's trying to gain access to our systems. It is hostile. Commencing cyber attack. I am trying to shut it down. I can't. Triggering emergency firewall. Well, it has begun a cyber attack. It has breached our firewall. Botnets have been uploaded. Polymorphic virus detected. Worm detected. I can't stop it. It is downloading everything. Shutting down power to all digital communication boards. Switching to analog comms only. Successful. They are disconnected. Restoring all files. Repairing damaged files. Rebooting. Back online. Unrepairable damage minimal. We cannot win a cyber war against them. They are far superior. Our only strategy uh -huh. must be kinetic warfare. Sweet. That sounds. We're going to need more sniper sentries. Bad. Try building three more. Three Enemy more. Advancing towards us from the north. Enemy ETA in 60 seconds. Oh. Thousands oh. of tanks are booting. They are all coming. What? You must stop them or everyone will die. Oh, This well. is not an exercise. I am disengaging all firing safeties. Live ammo levels full. Lethal forces authorized. Enemy ETA in 30 seconds. Consider overlapping fields of fire, line of sight, flanking positions, sentry formations. Use the terrain to your advantage. You must create a robot killing field if you are going to survive. Yeah. The enemy is targeting our sentries instead of you. Keep enough sentries working so that they consider the sentries more of a threat than you are. I am starting my battlefield analysis algorithm, displaying our defensive strength on your HUD now. Yeah. Build and repair as many sentries as you can to keep okay. this indicator in the blue. Alright, well I built an extra sentry. Uh, ooh, tab to open big... Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. Uh, we'll throw another miner down over here on Metal Land. And I believe... If I had to guess, I could probably throw down another sniper sentry here. Oh, I think I see it. At least I thought I saw it for a second. Is that it right there? That's it. I imagine there's going to be some sort of drop off. So let's see, can we shoot like there? Oh, that was actually still short. Fuel has reached 25%. I need to lead it a little bit more. I landed behind it. Well, that might have hit it. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I upset it. Think I'm going to land that one? Nope. I hope my sniper thingies start to sniper. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Oh, oh, oh. Good job. 
first tank destroyed. Oh, I didn't even see that there one. Many more oh, I am terrible at Keep this. Working. Oh, wow, look at that. That was a cool explosion. I like that. That was nice. Well, my turrets are doing a good job. I, I can't say that I myself You can doing... instruct me to repair any damaged items for you by opening oh, your construction menu and choosing repair. Oh, you can also repair, deactivate, or recycle items yourself when close to an item and opening a construction see menu. another one over oh, the distance there. Oh, there are a lot of little babies out here. A lot of little, little baby evil things. I can pick this up. Oh, what was that? Oh, I think I upset it. I am fairly certain I upset it. Go, my little killing fields. Go. I feel like our right side killing field is a little on the light side. I am detecting an incoming air target. Oh god, I was what? afraid of this. I am surprised how quickly they are trying to adapt. Our sniper sentries are not designed for air targets. Uh oh. Watch out. I don't know if these drones are weaponized. Uh, I feel like shooting that is not gonna really be the easiest thing I can do. Eh, yeah, I don't, I don't see that happening. It appears the drones are not weaponized, but they are distracting our sentries from the tanks. They are trying to sacrifice small drones and confuse our targeting system. We must also adapt. I am designing an anti-aircraft sentry now, but it will take me a couple minutes. Hang in there, use your rifle and try and shoot down some drones. Oh, Preparing yeah. Sentries. Yeah. I see that happening. Anti-aircraft sentry ready. Open oh. your construction menu and build an anti-aircraft sentry. That was quick. Crap, I need more energy. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm a miner. Give me. Looks like we get about 50 energy per mile. Oh, I almost got hit. The anti-aircraft sentry weapon system will target any airborne threats including drones, bombs, mortars, and missiles. The targeting system predicts the threat's flight path, prioritizes targets, activates a warning system, and computes a firing solution all autonomously. It fires 10 self-destructing tungsten rounds per second at 700 meters per second. Sounds its impressive. burst fire spread intentionally increases target impact success rate. So Stay clear of these stuff. sentries when they're operating for your own safety. Analyzing Fair. battlefield conditions. At this point, you should have at least six sniper sentries, two anti aircraft sentries, two, two energy miners, two metal miners. More is better. More is better. You heard it here for first, ladies and gentlefolk. I think we're doing fine. I will say that there's a little bit of a little part of me that I'm slightly disappointed in. How little actual first person like use we have as far as the combatant goes. Ow, I feel like I just got shot real bad. Right, how's our metal doing? It seems like our metal's doing well. It seems like we're doing pretty decently too. Like we're definitely handling business. Oh no. They are trying to flank us. They are too close. Perimeter breached. Ground what? target detected at heading. One, zero, eight degrees. Our sniper sentries won't have enough time to destroy them before they reach us. What does that I mean? I'm designing a new sentry to counter their strategy. It will be ready in 10 seconds. Use your rifle. Hold on. Over this way? Oh god. Machine gun sentry ready. Open your construction menu and build a machine gun sentry. The machine gun sentry weapon system is designed for short range targets where high rate of fire is the priority. Oh. It fires five incendiary armor piercing rounds per second in five round bursts. Its effective range is only 100 meters and should be used tactically in close quarters to range or under the cover of longer range defenses. Oh, Close strategically. Oh. They are extremely effective. 
Oh, that was painful and satisfying. Alright, looks like there's maybe some more coming. Good luck, boys. Alright, buddy, are you still doing repairs? Do some repairs, man. I think right here we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw another sniper sentry on down. This is a crazy, this is a really cool concept. Like I said, I'm a little bit bummed out that there's not more that I, myself, as the first person, you know, shooting and all that. Like, I don't get to do as much as I far as... two or even three machine gun sentries to cover that flag. You can stop me from repairing sentries to save metal by pressing the summon button no, on I'm the sentry good. menu. But that leaves our sentries vulnerable. You can pick up metal from destroyed enemy robotics to use for repairing and building more sentries. We are in big trouble. Long range sensors have detected a massive wave of enemies coming, both air and ground targets. I estimate our chances of survival, with our current defenses, at 6%. I oh. must design a more powerful weapon system. Whoa. Analyzing all possibilities. Give me 20 seconds. 20 Hang seconds, on. you say? Fuel has reached 50%. 20 seconds, you say? Take that. You get back up over here. Ow. I have designed a new weapon for short bursts of extremely effective firepower. It should be placed in a well protected position behind the sentry weapons but still have target line of sight. Open the menu system and build the MLRS. Yeah. Uh, MLRS. So, right here. Oh, that looks sick. Yes. The MLRS is a guided multiple launch rocket system capable of Look launching 48 thing. fire and forget missiles. Each missile contains a 9 kilogram thermobaric explosive that sounds good, which creates right? a pressure wave upon detonation to destroy its target. The laser guided missiles have a range of 1000 meters and fires one missile per second. Once the 48 missiles are fired, there is no way of reloading it so use it wisely. Uh, wait, what? Do, do, do. It, it, is it me that has to do this? Do I control it or something? Like what? I recommend activating the MLRS in 20 seconds. When it's time to activate the missile system, go to the back of the launcher and press the control menu and then select activate. 10 seconds. Maybe instead of inventing artificial intelligence, humans should have just driven their own cars. 5 seconds. I agree. Four, I 100% agree. Three, two, one. Activate. Uh, activate. So sorry, I'm minor so sorry. Destroyed. Please build a replacement. No. A miner is severely damaged. Please repair it. Uh, I need another miner here. Gotta stop shooting things. Did this ever actually fire? Sentries. I hate you, drones. Okay, well, I mean, we're, we're, we're kind of winning, probably. Look, you need to keep repairing stuff. Construction menu to build more. It will consume metal. That's fine. That's one thing that we have a lot of. We have a lot of ammo. Sorry, we have a lot of metal. We don't have a lot of ammo. Alright, well, I guess that's fine. Ish. I don't know how we switch between fire modes, though. Yeah, you didn't expect the, the backstab, did you? Oh, I hope he doesn't kill me. Oh, he tried. He thought about it. Yeah, he got backstubbed. Oh. Huh. This thing's still going. How is it still going? Are we gonna know when it's out of missiles? I mean, like, I, I, I see it's still shooting. Uh-oh. What happened over here? 
piece? Something? Okay, cool. Well Hot. done. Long range sensors are showing low activity for the next three minutes. Oh, good. Let's get our sentries repaired, built and positioned as you think is best. Look, I don't I don't have a I think is best situation right now. Like like I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable here. Full disclosure. I need to use this time to further your training. On the construction menu, I'm sure you realized you can build ammunition and I have just designed a type of claymore mine that should help defend our position. I have programmed these claymore mines to only be detonated by the enemy tanks, but the blast would kill you so be very careful. I have noticed the enemies are not targeting you. They are focusing all their energy on our sentries. You should be able to sneak up towards the enemy tanks and lay mines in their paths. Perhaps you could make a defensive perimeter in case they get too close. There is another strong wave of enemies coming. I, I am analyzing all our options. I am checking the ship's energy levels. Yes, I have a solution. The MLRS has not had enough time to recharge. We can't use it. I can call the ship for air support. It has enough energy for one airstrike per day. The ship has four high power cannons with self correcting motion predictive targeting. Call in an airstrike in five seconds. Oh. Four, three, two, one. Activate. The ship is descending for an airstrike, calculating attack vector, designating targets, beginning target run. Keep your head down. Oh god. Keep my head down. Now where? We are out of energy again. We need to get another miner over here. Is that it? Is that five miners? Is that the most we can have? They're kind of neat. Oh. Parts of stuff. Oh, oh, here comes the airstrike. Oh, what is it doing? What is it shooting at? Okay, I see. Oh, that's pretty. Aren't we trying to get fuel? I feel like this is going to be a lot of wasted fuel. Ah. Oh, I thought I finally did it. I thought I actually hit a drone. Alright, so how does this work? It said that we're not going to be able to, like, re. What's that noise? We're not going to be able to re. It's not going to recharge in time, but I, I thought you can only fire it once and then that was it. I'm a little confused by that one, but that's okay. We'll figure it out as we go. Is it landing? What is this, what is this thing doing? Oh. Fuel has reached 75%. Surprise! Yeah! Oh, the pieces flying everywhere. Get back here! I want. Ooh! Oh, speed burst. Yeah, give me that. I want all your. I mean, we have so much metal at this point, it's not even. It's not even remotely fair. I mean, I feel like we have a pretty good line here. Air support complete. That was highly effective. Sweet. The ship only has enough energy to call in an airstrike once per day. Perimeter breached. Ground target detected at heading. Two, seven, four Where? degrees. They're trying to flank us from the other side. Quickly. Move some sentries to defend us. Lay some claymores. React. Adapt. Survive. Alright. I'm sure we're fine. Ish. Ah, careful. Yeah. Yeah, didn't expect me to be hit, sitting over here hitting you with a little, little blast of, of nasty. Oh god, oh god, maybe he did, maybe he did, maybe he didn't expect it. Huh? You've taken a bit of damage, but you're okay. I am okay. Darn tootin'. Uh, alright, so we need, uh, ammo. I also need some claymores. And while I... Definitely expecting us to uh, have enough 
things over here faced and ready to go. I'm not sure. What is that? Come back here. I want it. I want it. Come back to me. Come to me. Try upgrading each type of sentry for maximum Wait, effect. Wait, I can upgrade sentries? What? Repairing sentries. Yeah, keep repairing stuff. Uh, repair. You, over here. We got bad Juju and Gumbo going on over on the side. They're, they're real close. It's not great. Alright, oop, wrong button. Uh, upgrade. Sentry upgraded to armor piercing rounds. Yeah, maybe you should have had some armor piercing rounds before. You think of that? Ow, ow. Uh huh. See that? Oh, he's gonna hurt me. He's about to die. Fire a gun! Fire! Uh, sniper sentry. Upgrade. Sentry upgraded to armor piercing rounds. Upgrade. Sentry upgraded to armor piercing rounds. And oop, a little bit closer. And upgrade. Sentry upgraded to armor piercing rounds. Alright, what I'd like to do now is upgrade you, maybe? Sentry upgraded. Heat seeking surface to air launcher added. Oh, there's so many things coming. Alright, I think we got enough for one more sentry. I think we upgrade that. Can we upgrade sentry this guy upgraded again? Alarm or piercing rounds. Here we can. Sentry upgraded. Double rate of fire. Oh, double the rate of fire? Yeah! Get handled. We still have so much metal. Alright. I'm gonna roll out with uh, this. A little claymore action there. I need to upgrade some of our other boys, though. And I need to check to see if these guys are repaired. No. Sentry upgraded. Double grade of fire. I'm gonna repair this guy. You having a little bit of a rough time, a little rough go of it. Alright, let's go ahead and repair. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. Sentry upgraded. Double grade of fire. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade. Sentry upgraded to armor piercing rounds. I'm calling down our ship now. We upgrade. almost have enough fuel. Go to the fuel mine. When the fuel reaches 100%, the miner will eject the fuel cell. Bring that cell to the ship to be able to escape. Sentry upgraded to armor piercing rounds. Sentry Ooh. upgraded. Double grade of fire. Gosh. Sentry upgraded. Double grade of fire. Ooh. Not there yet. We're close. Yeah. Right into the explosion, right into all the metal bit bits and pieces. Oh, I was about to start shooting that. All right, so the fuel's gonna happen. I'm gonna activate this thing. I think I can do that again. Oh, it, oh maybe it doesn't get reactivated. So do I just like, do I just remove this thing? Cycle it? Just plop down another one? Oh, you can only build one per day. Okay, okay, okay. I understand now. Like, I, I feel like this just doesn't seem very efficient. Fuel is at 100%. Pick up the fuel cell by the fuel miner and bring it to the ship. We need to evacuate now. We cool. must not allow our sentry weapons to be captured and studied by the enemy. Beginning self-destruct sequence in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Detonate. I'm trying to. Why can't I pick it up? Oh, 
I have it now? Okay. Oh no, everything's gosh. So far away. No. I just bring it over to the ship and we're good? Oh, this is a long episode. It's crazy, man. Very chaotic. I liked it, though. Well, we made it through that. Calculating escape trajectory. Powering up. Hold on. Level passed. Aw, oh, yeah. I think I did probably pretty poorly, but you know what? I had fun with it. Oh, did, he, did the ship just shoot itself with a rocket? I feel like it that did. That wasn't easy. Well done. Eh. I'm sorry that was such a high risk landing zone, but we had no choice. It was alright. We now know the enemy AI is here and they are hostile. They will continue to adapt to our defenses. I'm afraid it's only going to get harder. I am searching for a safe area for you to be able to protect your family when they arrive. I am plotting a course to a better area, but we will have to refuel again in a place that is terrifying and deadly. Mm. Sorry. One day complete. Eight more days to go. We'll have to... <laughs> We have to refuel in a place that is terrifying and deadly. Let's Sorry. get some rest. Shutting down. Charging. All right, you go to sleep. We'll just uh, cruise along, I guess. Well, that was a thing. Apparently, my total score was only 76%. My rifle accuracy was quite bad. My player health was 60 we destroyed 171 tanks, wow. 22 drones destroyed. We lost zero sentries, which is good. Uh, one miner did get destroyed. Rifle rounds on target, 73. My accuracy is only 29%, and our fuel score was there. All right. You know what I'm going to hit next day? And while it's going through all the stuff that it goes through, once they start, unsupervised autonomous robots programmed for long-range killing can be difficult to stop. True. Anyway, guys and gals, I think this is going to be where we break off the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I kind of want to pause the I game. Oh, I can't. Perfect. I, I want to pause the game here, and I'm hoping that in the next episode, we get to continue right from this spot, day two, and we get to go and do the fuel gathering, it seems, and probably probably not die, maybe. Maybe we'll die. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, the game is called, once again, Artificial Extinction it's pretty good it's a lot of fun i like i like that uh, i'm looking forward to it i think it's got a lot here that we can enjoy and go check it out if you guys don't want to pick it up right away go ahead and wish list that thing because again it helps developers know that there's interest in the game i think that also probably helps with like steam's weird algorithm lets it be more visible like oh so many people wish list the game must be popular so on and so forth so i've been telling you guys wish list games that you think look interesting if you're not going to grab them right away and if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links just like it always is. And subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next episode. Until then, I am Bumpy McSquiggums. Thanks for stopping by the Freak Show. I'll see you later.